Mike quickly realized in the UK that people were stuck at home and they needed help. They needed assistance. They needed people to be able to go pick up supplies, pick up groceries, pick up meds. We realized that the software that we had could be used in a different way to help with this pandemic. It became clearer that we needed a company that was able to scale with us. The Car Delivery Network is a logistics management company for pickup and delivery of vehicles in the US. It's a cloud-based service, all hosted and managed at Rackspace. We've been with Rackspace for about eight years, I guess. We've never had any problems in terms of scalability as we went from moving 10 vehicles to, to 3 million vehicles. Our business is software as a service, so we're paid when a vehicle is delivered and that pretty much stopped overnight. We ended up sitting there at home, locked down, thinking, what do we do next? We just ripped all that code out of our car haul software, made some adjustments to it, and came up with the Reach platform. There are always people that are in need of help. This gives you a tool to be able to go out and to drop off a little card or a package to your neighbor, giving them a way to feel connected. To be able to launch, it was really important to know that when we went out there, that it was going to actually be able to handle any volume that came at us. Rackspace were calling their customers and our account manager said, well, actually, do you know we've got this service running that's been set up to support companies who are trying to help with COVID-19. We're able to spin up as many servers as we want. That allows us then to hold and keep our data secure. And that's on the OpenStack servers. What happens if a thousand groups join? My answer to that is bring it on because I know it can handle it. We're very grateful that Rackspace has latched onto this and we've been able to partner in this process. Going forward out of this pandemic, I think there's going to be a big change in the way that we care for our communities, the way we think about our aged population, the way we think about vulnerable people and how we look after them.